All right, in this lesson we're going to do a couple of problems that involve lots of integers that we're either adding or subtracting. Uh, but we're going to do this using strategy 2 for subtracting integers. And remember, strategy 2 is the strategy of cross the line, change the sign. So that's what we'll be using here. Like I said, this is, this is my personal favorite. So, remember whenever we see a minus sign, we're going to cross the line, change the sign. So here's a minus sign right here. Cross the line, change the sign. Here's another minus sign. Notice this is not a minus, this is a negative. So I'm going to cross the line, change the sign. And then here I'm going to do nothing because I'm adding a negative, and that's exactly what I want. I want to be adding. So at this point, uh, I would really suggest once you do the cross the line, change the sign thing, a lot of times it's real cramped, as you can see um, here between the 25 and the, and the 13. So uh, it's nice to, I think, rewrite everything really neatly before going on. So this is plus negative 13. We want parentheses around those negatives plus 9 plus negative 12. And again, remember using the commutative property of addition, we can put our positives next to each other and put our negatives next to each other. And so of course I can add 25 and 9 and get 34, so I have 34 as my positive, and I can add 13 and 12, which gives me 25, so negative 25 oops, is what I have from adding the negatives. And then finally, I'm adding two numbers of different signs, so I'm going to subtract 34 and 25, and I know my answer is going to be positive because the positive is with the larger absolute value. Alright, so moving on to the next example. Again, we will cross the line, change the sign. So again, remember this is not a minus sign here, this is a negative because there's no number in front here that you could be taking 4 away from. So this is just a negative 4. This is definitely a minus sign though, so I'm going to cross the line, change the sign. Same thing here, minus sign, so I will cross the line, I will change the sign. The plus 6 is exactly how I want it. I want everything to be plus, so I don't do anything to that. And then finally I am going to cross the line, change the sign here. And so cleaning all this up, I get negative 4 plus negative 7 plus negative 17 plus 6 plus 6. And so I can put all my negatives together, so adding those up, uh, 4 plus 7 plus 17, and that's going to give me 28. So this is negative 28, and then 6 plus 6 is of course 12, and so now I know I'm subtracting 28 and 12, but I also know that my answer will be negative because the negative is with the bigger absolute value. 